We're at the Grand Bazaar here in Ulamuchi, and uh, you, you don't have to worry about anything because I guarantee you we're being taken care of. Look at over my left shoulder. Those are those are guys in an armed vehicle with with guns and stuff. They're the cops. Exit. You can't go in this way. You have to go in that way. Okay. Anyway, can't go in the outdoor. You know what I mean? So to get into the Grand Bazaar, you got to go through security. Everything gets scanned, which is a, which is a little weird because I was here four or five years ago and they didn't have that there, and there was a, more of a heightened sense of security there uh, at, at that time than there than there is right now. Look at the Grand Bazaar, guys. Look at how many people are out. It's cold outside. I'm gonna put my winter jacket on, but uh, you can see like there's people everywhere. We've left the the, the confines of yeah. uh, pharmaceutical companies and textile companies and now we're in search of ice cold wusu pijo. It's Where's the pijo guela? I don't <laughs> over over the I don't smell any. Oh no. Maybe there isn't any. Muslim. I think I I I think there's got to be. We got to find a Muslim drinking well, weaker if I have well, I think they all drink. But they just don't tell you about it. When you actually hear about the oppression of, uh, of uh, the Uyghur minority and the uh, Muslim religion, and then you get down to uh, the center of the city in uh, Ulamuchi, the capital city of uh, Xinjiang Autonomous Region, and you turn around and you've got one of the biggest mosques I ever, I've ever seen in my life stare, staring you straight in the eye. Uh, you know that the mainstream media is telling you a lie. I'm here on the ground in Ulamuchi, in Xinjiang Autonomous Region, there's a Muslim uh, influence everywhere. The the signs on the on the sides of the building are in Turkish and in in, uh, in Chinese, and some in English too, guys. But uh, you you can see that. Uh, thank you. You can you can see that. Uh, it's a vibrant community. You can see that there is no religious persecution. You can see that family oriented. They got the little kids, they got the grandparents, they got the parents, they got uh, but I haven't yet been able to find a Wusu Pijo. So we've broken loose from the Grand Bazaar now and we're we're off looking for a beer anywhere we can find it. No, only juice and pop there. That's not good. Mayo Pijo. Oh yeah. We'll find something here sooner or later. The search for beer in a in a very heavy Muslim area of uh, of uh, Ulamuchi, and you know that's one thing they 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 don't drink. They don't drink. Uh, it's against religion. So finding finding alcohol sometimes can be tough in this this area of the world. So we just talked to a shop owner and he says, uh, because there's a school right across the street here, they're not allowed to sell beer in this area of the, of the city. And you know, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, the same thing in Nanang. You, when, if you're within a couple blocks of a school, uh, you, you can't sell alcoholic uh, products. And uh, I think that's a good thing. So we're uh, gonna go up and hang a right or a left and see if we can't get away from the school. <laughs> There, where, where there's a will, there's a way, you know. It's not like we don't have uh, have time. It's just after six o'clock, and we meet the group again at uh, seven seven fifty. So uh, where there's a will, there's a way, as I say. You're not allowed to uh, videotape the army guys, so I'm videotaping my face and the army boys are just in the background in their armored vehicle and their guns. They're watching over us, they're keeping us safe. Uh, from what? I don't know. The girls, probably the, the, the Xinjiang girls, because all girls are dangerous. Nice and warm in here, too. But where are the beer gods? Damn it! <laughs> we found it! We found Wusu beer on tap. So I'm gonna get a schooner. Give me one big schooner of beer. Wusu Pizio. 
So it doesn't matter where you go, Guelao can find beer sooner or later. You know what I mean? 25 yen. And only 25 yen for, so that's like four, four and a half bucks for a big scooter. So as I was sitting here, uh, go, going to get a Wusu beer, a scooter of Wusu beer, the, the lady says, well, this beer is better. So I got this beer, it's 35 RMB, so six and a half bucks Canadian for, you know what I mean, guys? Like, come on. And I, asked, and I asked my Chinese translator guy, I said, do you want some beer too? He says, I can't drink, I have to take care of you. <laughs> so I've never seen a more oppressed and suppressed people in my entire life than here in Ulamuchi, Xinjiang Autonomous Region. Like, look at how, how many unhappy faces there are. And that is goat feet? Goat feet. Not saying that their food is perfect. <laughs> no, but you know, the people are happy. And that, my friends, is another video from Guelao 60 here on the streets of Ulamuchi uh, Grand Bazaar, drinking beer and, and having a good time. Uh, I've, I've used this camera up. My SD card is full, and uh, so I sign off. Like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Hit the bell. Until next time, peace out. And here's to you. Here's mud in your eye. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah.